Good morning, Bradley Sharpino here of Lee Coma, and I'm going to walk through portfolio of passions right now. We're going to walk through some basic uh, adding content, images, organizing content into different sections, and see how far we get in a few minutes here. So uh, I'm on the site, and these are different buttons up here. These are technically pages right now. This is the slider. These are widgets, um, middle homepage widgets. These are homepage footer widgets. And then I'm just going to give a quick overview of what's where over here to travel. And we get to a category page which shows several posts in the category travel. And same thing for the other one. So here, well, if there's a post. So if there's no post, there's obviously no posts under cultural. So this is what happens. You need to put those in. Natural, and you get the idea. So uh, over here, these are pages about Leanne. I'm going to read more. It goes to a page about Leanne. That's her. Blog, galleries, galleries. We get some photos, archives. Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, so I'm just going to basically show you what's where in here. So first, let's just go top down. First, um, I'll just go to this the slider. The slider lives he uh, now. This is the WordPress admin behind the scenes. Uh, here's the dashboard, and on this left sidebar under media is WP Cycle, and that is a slider button slider function that does on that home page. So all you do here, I, I think this is separate from the regular media, so I think you need to upload it here. So I would browse here, go find the, the, the file on my computer, it would upload, it would come here, and then I can tell it where I want this link to go. And so I can, this one is going to the, the travel page. This one's going to the cultural page, so I think I just chose some. So this is where you can change the links. The easiest way to change the link is go over here to the site, click on cultural or something, copy the URL up top, and then come back over here and paste it in, and you're done. That's it. There are Here's some effects, what happens, um, uh, how things work, does it fade, how often, that kind of thing. That's all down there. So that is the, the slider. Going down a little more on the home page, we get to these three areas. And these are what WordPress calls widgets. A widget is basically a little element of content. And they live under appearance down here, appearance widgets. So over here on the right, these are our existing widgets. Up here we have the header right. That's up there in the upper right of the header. Primary sidebar, secondary sidebar. And these are sidebars that live on the interior pages of the site. Home top. OK, here we go. So home middle, home two, home middle three. This is what is these three things. So this is we're using a Genesis framework here. And the Genesis framework has this. Uh, widget here called Genesis Featured Page. So I drag, if this weren't already here, I would just drag this Genesis Featured Page over to this m widget area and then I would customize it. So I'm going to make it go to a page and I'm going to go to, it's going to go to the Walking Among the Ancients page. Here's the page. I choose which one I want. Do I want to show a featured image? How big is that image? Uh, the alignment of that image. Do I want to show the title, the byline, the content, content character limit? So I said 460 characters. You can just play around with how long that is to see how long it works. And then I would save, and that would give me walking among the ancients. That's right here. So this content is coming from the page walking among the ancients. In the page, I would go over here to pages and find it walking among there it is walking among the ancients so that's where that content is coming from and now of course it's still just fake content but that's where it's coming from so the image now that we're over here at the page walking among the ancients the uh, image is here 
This is, it's using the featured image of WordPress, and I added it right here. Let's pretend I, I'm going to I'm going to remove it, and we'll go even test, and it should disappear from here because we remove the uh, image. So there it left. I don't know what it's using, and I'm going to go set the featured image. So this one I've already uploaded, so it's sitting in my media library. So of course I have to either remember which one it is or just know. And I think it's the one something 270 by 100 or maybe I'll find it. It's not even the right one really. Here we go. This is it. So it's POP04 270 by 100. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say use as featured image. Now the beauty of this featured image is that it goes in several places. WordPress creates uh, a little square, a little bigger square, creates this rectangle, and then an even bigger one than that. So I put it back. We can go see if it's back. And there it is. So I will get the right ones in there when I get them. And let me just continue then where I was at widgets. Over, where was I? There we go, widgets. So that's how to do these three middle areas, home, middle, one, two, three. Down below on the home page are these four footer widgets. And this is the same, the same story here. Genesis featured page, about Leanne, about show featured image. Now here I chose to use the mini image, 65 by 65. So that's why over here we have this little, the little thumbnail. I don't want the title, I don't want the byline, but I want the content, and I'm going to show, I basically made this big to fit the text that was there, but if it's too long, and it is a little long, we could chop that up. And then I can close. So that's it. That's These are all basically dealing with the home page, with the exception of this, and I might as well talk about it while I'm here. So this is primary sidebar, and when I'm off of the, the home page, let's say I'm just basically anywhere else. I'm inside the site then. We've made it so that this sidebar here, sidebar here in the right shows what used to be down in the footer. So now it's about Leanne, blog, galleries, archives. That's over here in the sidebar. And it's the same story. I dragged this Genesis featured page over here and then I customized it. The nice thing is I can make it a little different if I want. I can make in fact, I think I accidentally did. I made the thumbnail the bigger one, and I chose to show less content. That's it. So that's what's going on over here in this sidebar. So let's see how we're doing on the home page. I think we're done. That was it. OK. So then um, elsewhere on the site, for example, let's take something uh, first simple. I'm going to do a, about Leanne. So about Leanne. I go over here and this is a page. So WordPress distinguishes between pages and posts. Here are posts, here are pages. So pages you can think of as more static. They are about Leanne or you know contact me or directions to the office. And those are pages. So those are currently over here about uh, okay, well, it says blog, but it's really a bucket that's going to hold the blog entries. So it's easier to think of it as the you know about Leanne is a perfect about page. So I can go, I can go edit that about Leanne page right here, hover over about, and now we are editing, editing, editing the about uh, Leanne page. In fact, maybe I want to call it about Leanne. So I can change the title, because right here it just says About. I'm going to change it to About Leanne. I'm going to Update. And it's Update is like Save. Anytime I do something, I want to change it. I go over here, I change the title. And now we're at About Leanne. That's it. So in here, this is the main body. Here I can add more text. I can bold, italicize, uh, use different header styles to make um, to make header styles. I can do lots of formatting. I have this covered sort of in another video that covers some of these st stylings. But here's your basic stylings for 
uh, content management system. You can make links, you can do some formatting, bullets, you get the idea. If I want to add an image, I can click here, and this is my upload insert image. I would click here, and then if I already have it, I can go to Media Library. If I want to go to my computer, I can I'll select File, and I'm going to grab anything. I grab a picture, it uploads it, and then I can give it a title. What is that picture? And then down here, I can give it the link URL. I can make it link to the bigger picture, or I can link it to something else, or I can link it to nothing. And then down here is the alignment, none left, center, right. I'm going to do left, and I will do a little thumbnail. And insert. And this would then, if I update, would go to the About Leanne page. She would have <laughs> this woman. Let's see. I'm just going to check my work. I go over here, and there she is. So I did not do the featured image. That's this is still the footstep is still the featured image of Leanne. This is just a picture within the Leanne page. So I'll say, no, nope, I don't want that. Come over, click, button, delete, update. I go check my work. Save, refresh, about Leanne page is gone. Okay, that's that. Let's take travel. So travel is a category. I'm going to go back over to WordPress, and here are posts, and under posts here are categories. So anytime there are more than you know two of something, really, you could choose to make a category out of it, and then start a collection of your content that's in that category. So for example, here in categories, we have cultural, natural, personal, social, travel, and uncategorized. So these categories are what are here. So let's take travel. So I'm going to go look at the posts, and I'm going to view which categories travel. I'm going to filter just so I have an idea of what are my travel posts. So here they are, whatever, 10 of these. And this one, you can have multiple categories. So if refugees in Azerbaijan is travel, but it's also social, that's fine. It will show up in the travel section as well as the social section. So uh, here, an example of one, here's Armenia. There's the title. I'm going to come over here and give it a, t a travel is the category. Here's the body. And then if I want a featured image down here, I add it and give it an excerpt. Excerpts are important also for Google. Uh, but also for when you get an overview page of the categories, you'll want to show that. So let's add a new one. I just happen to have, I'm going to go over here to posts. These are the existing posts, but I want to go add a new post, and I have my Word doc here. Oh, that's what it was. It was walking with the H and saying that. <laughs> I thought I didn't have that one. I'll just pretend I didn't have that one. I'm going to call it Petra. So I'm going to come over here to Word. I'm going to copy. And back over here. Now, Word can do nasty things to our website. So I'm it, just with formatting. I'm going to come over here to this Paste from Word button. I'm going to click. And in here, I'm going to do Control V or Apple V. It looks funky, but it will get fixed. I insert, and then it inserts my text. Now, don't worry that there's some extra spacing. That will get cleaned up. I'm going to call this one Petra. And down here, I'm going to, over here in the categories, I'm going to call it travel. I'm going to go give it, I'm going to select a little text, go down here, give it an excerpt. And then, well, we can do post tags. That's a bit of a different story if we want. But tags are sort of keywords that maybe we'd like to use to organize. We don't need to use them. We can if we want. And then set featured image. I don't have one yet. And I, let's say I don't have it uploaded. I'm going to go to my computer, go pick one, and I'll try to get a more happier picture this time. Let's see. Here we go. Happy guy. Happy Mr. Baker, postman guy. I upload my picture, and I don't really want it in my post. Let's say I just want the, I just want to use it as a featured image. Done. Save all changes. Close. And there it is. So this hasn't been published yet, and if let's say I don't want to publish it until tomorrow, I want to think about it, I can do Save Draft. 
Another nice thing is I can do publish it. You know, I'm going to publish it, make it go out tomorrow. I do publish 29th. I do OK, and it would schedule it for tomorrow. Quite nice, especially if you have a lot of content you want to add. But I'm ready. I'm going to publish it. Petra under travel section. So if we go over here to the travel section, we should see Petra up here first. There it is. So there's Petra, there's my title, there's my featured image. Here's my excerpt. So with this picture, it's a little short. I could make a longer excerpt. We can also get rid of all this stuff if we don't want all that. And then it goes down and shows more of my um, images. One last example here. This was an example of a uh, gallery. So here's a gallery, and if I click on it, I just get this sort of nice little slideshow that gives me a pretty simple slideshow of my six images. Let me just show how to do that real quick. But you know what? I'm going to do it for a brand new one. Because the way the WordPress galleries work is that the images are based on what's been uploaded in that post. In that post. So here's my fake content page, right? And I want to make... I'm going to put some gallery in here. Oh, I'm going to give it the travel section. And then I'm going to upload. I know I'm going to upload several images because I want them all to be related to this post here. So, and I can I can select all at a time. So I just did shift on my keyboard. I'm going to select all of these and upload them all and they will all be attached or related to this particular post. So they're all done. I'm going to do save changes and then because it sort of knows, hey, you just did a bunch of images at the same time, I'm going to say uh, gallery settings, link to image, order by menu. I want ascending order, three columns, insert gallery, and it shows this big guy, which is a gallery. I'm going to, I gave it travel, I didn't give it an excerpt, let me go give it an excerpt, there we go, I didn't give it a, I didn't give it a featured image, I'm going to hold off on that just for a sec, so we have my in that post in the travel section, I go to travel, there's in that post, okay, I guess it grabbed a featured image, it just took one, it figured I wanted to use that, I'm going to go read in that post, and there are my seven images I uploaded. So if I click on one, I get the little slideshow thing. And down here, if I took the time to give it a title, it would have a nice title down there. That's that. So I guess I uploaded very small images. And that's about it. I'm sure there are more things, but for now, that'll get you going on the basics. Adding some content to posts for your different writing areas, adding uh, content for pages. We also went over how to add the um, featured image as well as on the home page, how to find where the content is in these buckets. So that's it for now. I'm going to let you uh, play around with this and add some content on your own and see how you do. And uh, this is Bradley Charbonneau of Lee Coma signing off for now. Till next time. Bye-bye.